Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got six distinct design patterns here, each with its own approach to how an AI agent interacts with the world and makes decisions. Let's start with the React agent. Now, React stands for Reason plus Act. This pattern emphasizes a tight loop between the agent's reasoning process and its actions. The agent first thinks about the query using a language model, LLM1, generates a reason for its next step, and then uses tools based on that reasoning. Another language model, LLM2, then takes the output from the tools and formulates the final response. It's like an agent that thinks step by step before acting, making sure its actions are well informed by its reasoning. Next, we have the code act agent. This pattern focuses on using code as a primary way for the agent to interact with its environment. The agent takes a user query, thinks about the necessary action, and then generates code to execute that action in the environment. It observes the outcome and uses that observation to inform its next steps. This is particularly useful for tasks that require precise manipulation of systems or data through programming. Moving on to tool use. This pattern is pretty straightforward. It highlights how agents can leverage external tools to extend their capabilities. When faced with a query, the agent decides which tool is most appropriate to use, like a search engine, a database, or a cloud service like AWS, and then uses it to gather information or perform an action. The output from the tool is then used to generate the final response. This allows agents to access and process information far beyond their internal knowledge. Now, let's look at self-reflection. This is a more advanced pattern where the agent evaluates its own performance and output. After generating a first draft response using a main LLM and potentially some tools, a critique mechanism, often another LLM or a set of rules, analyzes the draft. If the critique suggests improvements, the agent goes back and refines its answer. This iterative process of generating and critiquing allows the agent to learn and improve the quality of its responses over time. Next, we have multi-agent workflow. This pattern involves coordinating multiple specialized AI agents to achieve a complex goal. Each subagent might have a specific role or expertise. They communicate with each other, share information, and their individual outputs are often aggregated by another agent, like an aggregator LLM, to produce the final result. This allows for tackling more intricate tasks by breaking them down into smaller, manageable parts handled by experts. Finally, we have agentic RAG. We touched on RAG, retrieval augmented generation, in a previous video, and here it's applied within an agentic framework. The agent takes a query, uses tools, often involving vector search in a vector database, to retrieve relevant information, and then uses a generator, like an LLM, to formulate the final output, grounded in the retrieved knowledge. This pattern is crucial for building agents that can answer questions accurately based on a vast amount of external data.